We all saw it at Pipeline, and now we've got our hands on it. Milwaukee's new roll-on 7200-watt, 3600-watt power supply, the 3300R. Everyone was intrigued by this announcement and had lots of questions, so we're going to take a look at it up close and personal now that it's available to order. First off, what was Milwaukee's goal here? Well, power supplies and generators are crucial in many trades. Whether you're in the pre-power, temporary power, or permanent power stage of a job, having a reliable power source makes it that much easier to ensure you can get your work done, whether you're powering corded tools and lighting or charging equipment and batteries, power tools require power. As safety becomes more of a concern on job sites with noise regulations, fire hazards, and limitations around gas generator emissions, Milwaukee's goal is to provide an easily portable and safe alternative to temporary power as we see it today. Now, just looking at it, you can see that this thing is a monster. It's not your compact little power topper, even though it is capable of charging sensitive devices. The roll ons specifically designed for the job site. IP54 rated for durability, it allows you to power two 20 amp tools, one charger, and your personal items all simultaneously with pass-through power. When I tested it out, it did take a few seconds for the charging to begin on the devices I tested, but with a little patience and faith, we got there. It's also fully job site compliant with resettable GFCI and breaker outlets. And I know I said easily portable, but don't get me wrong, this thing is 104 pounds. Other solutions average around 150 to 350 pounds though, and the roll-on includes a telescoping handle with a heavy duty roll cage and a nine and a half inch all-terrain wheels. So we consider this guy pretty mobile. Getting into the specifics, the included 2.5 kilowatt hour red lithium battery puts out 7,200 watts of starting power and 3,600 watts of running power, which is quite a step up from Milwaukee's MX and M18 carry-ons. So that 7,200 watt number is peak output. So if you're starting up a large item like a fridge or a table saw, you'll see a big spike in power. Then it'll run at a lower draw, which the roll-on can handle at up to 3,600 watts. These work very differently than gas units and that typically with gas, a 3,600 watt generator will have about a 4,000 watt peak. With a battery unit, that peak number is way higher. We saw this on the M18 carry-on power unit and even some Generac power units, which we actually compared in this video here if you're looking and for something smaller than the roll-on. Back to this device though, the battery can recharge from zero to 100% in three hours or get you up to 25% in just 35 minutes which for that amount of power is pretty darn fast. For reference, when the roll-on is fully charged, you can charge up to 20 M18 5.0 or 15 M18 8.0 batteries. Plus, with its packout compatibility, you can stack one or two of the M18 packout six bay rapid chargers full of batteries on top, making it the ultimate portable power station. Or you can keep adding all the other tools, organizers, lights, vacs, other packouts you also may need handy right on top. With the ability for it to be plugged in and charging your devices at the same time, you really have tons of possibilities. Another notable feature is the HMI screen that is visible from up to 25 feet away. This lets you know everything you need to know about the unit, the battery or charging status, any faults, if auto restart is enabled, AC and USB power status, temperature and overload warnings, a power output gauge, and runtime or time to charge. The roll-on is also one key enabled, allowing you to track, secure, manage, and customize your device mobily as needed. Then when you're charging your device, you can even utilize one key to adjust the charge rate to a lower wattage than the standard 1000 watts to maximize your outlet usage. If you want a little extra protection, Milwaukee also introduced an accessory cover, the 4811 3300, that you can purchase separately for $49.97 to protect your new investment from dust and debris during storage. Now, some feedback we've seen on this has been mixed, primarily around runtime and price point. At a price tag of $4,500, we understand that's a big investment for just power that a $1,000 traditional generator could probably accomplish. But some things to understand here are this device is is not engineered for continuous wattage applications like as an emergency backup for your home or powering your campsite. It's really designed more for intermittent applications that require short bursts of energy and shorter operating cycles. Again, if we revisit those specs we covered earlier, this device has essentially 2.5 kilowatt hours of total juice. So when you do the math, an M18 12.0 battery is rated at 216 watt hours, meaning it's equal to about a dozen of those. Some more math here, now stay with me. If you've got 20 2,500 watts for one hour, and you've got 3,600 watts of running power, and you're drawing power from it continuously at this rate, it's obviously not gonna last a whole hour. 
because 3600 is greater than 2500. But with its power capability, you can run these large devices for a short amount of time or small sensitive devices for a very long time. It really comes down to how you use it, but the power is definitely there. And since you can charge and operate it at the same time, it really is a win-win. What are your thoughts though? Let us know in the comments below. We're eager to see where Milwaukee takes this next, but for now we're seeing a lot of interest and think it's definitely a step in the right direction. If you have any other questions, leave us a comment or give us a call or send us an email or write us a letter. Whatever you prefer, just get a hold of us and we'll help you out. If you're looking for even more content from us, subscribe to our channel or check out one of these videos here. Thank you for watching. Now get back to work. This guy. <laughs> <laughs>